Hi, my name is Cheryl Moran. I am the grade two um, team leader for Everyday Math 4, and I'm going to tell you about some of the content changes that we've made at grade two. To begin with, we've made lots of changes with facts. Um, you'll see here that we have quick looks in grade two. This continues from grade one, and this is to help support children as they develop the strategies for learning their basic addition facts. We've also added lots of lessons for that focus on fact strategy. And you can see here we have two full units of fact strategies, which gives children very targeted practice on each of the, on each of the strategies. We've also added lots of practice in all the units so that we can be sure that children uh, will meet the Common Core stand state standard of knowing all addition facts from memory and being fluent with the subtraction facts as required by Common Core by the end of grade two. Here you'll see we have included a record sheet for the teacher so she can circulate as children are practicing their facts and document which facts children still may need more practice with. Another change that we've made is work with fractions. We've retooled our work with the fractions so that it aligns with the common core. And now the focus is not on standard notation, but on um, word notation or number and word notation for children to name the equal parts of a shape. In addition to that, we've added work in fractions so that children can recognize that the equal shares of a shape need not be the same shape. So here you'll see a shape that doesn't, it's divided into two equal shares, but it doesn't, the shares don't look exactly the same, but you can see that each shape is made up of five smaller squares. In addition to the fractions, we've added a lot of work with, with arrays, and it's been retooled to align with common core standards. And now the focus is on repeated addition rather than writing a multiplication number model. And this work prepares children for third grade where they do write the multiplication number model. And finally, uh, we've worked a lot on changing the number stories a bit so that the instruction is more explicit on solving the number story. In the past, children would, write, would solve a number story and then write a number model to show how they solved it. Now, they're writing a number model to solve the number story. So that's the changes that we've made in grade two in everyday math. I hope you enjoy it. Have fun. 